Okay, my God. Here we are. Right behind me is the St. John River. And the walking bridge, not far away. And last summer, what was here? Tents. Tents. I had about two or three tents, and I said to myself, well, that's not, they're not going to stay there long. Why is that now? Simple. Fredericton is the most racist city against the less fortunate in Canada. Well, they say, Charles, the poor is not, it's not racism because the poor is not a race. Yeah, I hear that so many times. They put them in jail. They're drug addicts. They put them in jail. They take a heart attack. Boop. The fluck. Shit happens. Move on. No inquiry. No inquest. No nothing. Uh, but this is what Fredericton is, and Fredericton said, well, okay, uh, you bring these Indians, or these welfare bums, uh, put them in a the provincial jail in St. John, the woman, Miramichi, and, uh, you know, get them a Google map to make, make it home. Maybe they'll stay, they'll stay there, they won't come back to Fredericton. But, enough of that. But the tense situation, I talked about it last summer, and I'll talk about it again. Out of cities, they got tent cities. They got tents right on the sidewalk, right, you know. They sleep on the street. Here, no, 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 here. If you're in a bank, they call the cops and the cops come and beat the shit out of you if you resist. Now, how come this river, especially with the natives, how come the natives can't enjoy the river like everybody else? Why? How come you, they were behind the lieutenant governor? And next thing you know, Her Royal Highness or the staff complained. Complain about what? They were out of sight, out of mind. Communication, it is nice to calm and have a, you know, have a little bonfire and relax. Not to arrive there and say, hey, uh, boys, we have a shelter there. Uh, it's about 80 degrees, 100 degrees inside. Uh, you can sleep with 25 other men. Who wants that? In the summertime, nobody wants to go in the shelter because they want a little bit of freedom. They sleep under the bridge, they sleep on a bench, but it's always been like that. But Fredericton, if they, if they catch you more than once, then they arrest you, then you don't have the right to a lawyer, and then you plead guilty, and then they set up a trespass, a trespass uh, act, and they say, okay, if you trespass, you're gonna go to jail. They trespass, go sleep somewhere in jail, 30 days. By the time winter comes, oh, uh, it's too cold to be outside, then they go at the shelter. Now, the river or the lakes is not just for the filthy rich. The filthy poor should be allowed to enjoy, enjoy the waters also. But then again, the filthy rich bought those cottages in Grand Lake. And look what happened there. Well, maybe they'll be joining the less fortunate beside the street, beside the river here.